everyone. I am Minnistri, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Today we will discuss about this code converters. Code converters are the four types, binary to BCD code converter, BCD to XS3 code converter, BCD to gray code converter, gray code to XS3 code converter. So the numbers are uh, and the symbols are representing in the form of the code. So in that codes are the two types of the codes are there, weighted code and the unweighted code. So in this weighted code, it will depending on the position of that particular weights. Example of that weighted codes is the 8421 code. Coming to the unweighted code, so it is not depending on the position of that weight. Okay. So the example of that one, x 3 code converter, uh, gray code converters are there. Now we want to convert the one code to the another code converter. Okay. First converter is the binary to BCD code, BCD code converter. So the code converter is to convert one type of binary code to the another. There are different types of the binary codes like BCD code, gray code, XS3 code, etc. Different codes are used for different types of the digital applications. To get the required code from any one, one type of code, the simple code conversion process is done with the help of combination circuit. Now, this is the binary to the BCD code converter. So, in the binary, binary code is the normal, normal weighted code. So, that is the binary code converter. So, in this binary value, depending on the position of that weights, that is the 8421 code. So, here we are having the values from the 0 to 50. So, coming to the BCD, it has only the uh, values from the 0 to 9 only. 0 to 9 only. So, these numbers represented the equivalent binary numbers. The numbers represent the equivalent binary numbers. So, that is the BCD code. In the binary values, in the binary values we are having from the 0 to 15. So, coming to the BCD values we are having the values from the 0 to 9. Okay, normal decimal number system. So, up to the 0 to 9, it is also depending on the 8421 code only. For the numbers above 10, above 10. So, LSP of a decimal number is represented by its, by its equivalent binary number. And MSP of a decimal number is also represented by their equivalent binary numbers. So, if you are taking the 2 number or 3 number uh, in the BCD code, so here we are writing the uh, equivalent binary values uh, separate separate the digits. In each and every digit we are writing the separate binary values. For example, here 1, 2 is there. For this 2, here we are writing the 0, 0, 1, 0. For LSB 0, 0, 0, 1. So, the total BCD code is the 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. For example, 14 is there. 14 is the 14 is the decimal value. 14 is the decimal value. Now, I want to write the equivalent BCD code. Now, I want to write the equivalent BCD code. So, how can we write this one? So, here we are writing the uh, binary values for the each and every digit. So, for this 4, we are writing the uh, equivalent binary values. So, that binary value, that is the 4-bit number. Next one, that is the 0, 0, 0, 1. So, now the 14 equivalent BCD value is 0010100. Normally, in the binary values, this value is the 1110 only. For this 14 equivalent binary value is 1110. For this 14 equivalent BCD value is 00010100. For example, 25 is there. For this 25 also we are writing the equivalent value five for this 5, 0, 1, 0, 1. For this 2, 0, 0, 1, 0. So now the value is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is the equivalent BCD value. So this is the way to write the equivalent BCD values for the given decimal numbers. Okay, so here the one truth table is there. 
so this is truth table is uh, uh, is the binary to bcd con bcd code converter okay so now uh, normally in the binary to the bcd code converter so up to the 0 to 9 same values as uh, we are taking the either the binary value or the bcd value whenever the decimal number is goes to the two digit number then the bcd values are changing for the binary code okay for the decimal number of the system so for the two bit number onwards the binary values and bcd values are changing okay now let us see uh, first decimal number next one is the binary code next one is the bcd code so here the binary to bcd code converter this binary code is the input value this bcd code is the output value okay so in the input we are taking the only four bit numbers b0 b1 b2 and b3 coming to the bcd code so here we are taking the five bit number why because so up to the up to the two two digit number up to the two digit number so it will be uh, depending on the next msb bit number so that is the uh, fourth uh, msb bit number why because fourth so here we are taking from the zero to four so from this two bit uh, uh, decimal number onwards it will be depending on the fourth bit okay so for the first decimal number 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so all the values so up next one 0 0 0 1 for the bcd equivalent value also 0 0 0 1 why because one equivalent value is the one only next to 2 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 3 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 so like this up to the 9 so from the 10 onwards so 10 equivalent binary value is 1 0 1 0 so coming to this bcd value normally in the bcd value is like this for this 10 for 0 4 zeros for 1 0 0 1 0 so these are the remaining bits are the ones so that's what here we are taking the one uh, four zeros so 10 equivalent bcd value is one four zeros so similarly for this 11 also for this 11 uh, 0 0 0 1 0 0 okay so from the 1 to 0 0 0 1 so that's what here we are taking from the 1 so uh, like, like this zeros okay now for this 11 1 0 0 0 0 1 so for this uh, 12 also equal to binary value is 1100 so coming to this bcd value 10010 like this up to the 15 this is the truth table of the binary to bcd code converter so now i want to write the equation for the um, bcd value so how can how can we are uh, write the equation for the bcd values so for this binary to the bcd code converter now i want to write the boolean expression for the output of the values so here in this output values now i want to find the d0 d1 d2 and d3 and d4 okay now we want to write the boolean expression for this one so here we are using the sop form okay so in the sop form is represented representing in the, in the in terms of the summation of m okay so now i want to write the uh, presenting values in the d naught so what is that meaning so whenever we are having the one whenever we are having the one so take that binary values okay so now i want to we want to observe this d naught value now we want to observe this d0 value so in this first position this value is the 0 so we didn't take this uh, 0 so next value is the 1 so now we consider this value so this 1 is equal to this decimal value 1 okay so next one for this one value is 0 so no need to take this one next one is 2 sorry 0 1 2 3 next take this 
So in the 4, we are having the 0 is there. For the 4 decimal number, the equivalent denote value is the 0. For this 5 decimal number, the denote value is the 1. Okay, for this 6, 0. For the 7, 1. 8, 0. 9, 1. For this 10, 0. So, no need to take the 0 values. In the SOP form, we are considering only the 1s. Okay. Next 11, we didn't consider this 12, next 13, okay, 14 is not considering, so next one is the 15. So now I want to write the Boolean expression based on this one using the K-map, okay. Similarly, for this D1. Next, D1. So in this first two value, 0, next one also 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. 2, 3, 4, 5 is 0, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 is the zeros. 12, 13 is presenting. 12, 13. Next for this D2, D2. So, D, 0, 1, 0 is 0, 1, 2, 3. So, up to the 3, the value is 0. Next one, 4, 5, 6, 7. 4, 5, 6, 7. Next one is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 is the zeros. Next one is 14 and 15. Next D3. So, 0 to 7 bits are the zeros. Only 8 and 9 is presenting. For the D3 is summation of 8, comma 9. For the D4, uh, 0 to 9 is 0. From the 10 to 15 is presenting. So, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is the D0, D1, D2, D3, D4 uh, values. Based on this min terms, we have to plot the values in the K map. We can simplify the Boolean expression. First, to take the D4. Summation M 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, this is the four variable K map. Why? Because so the inputs are the four B0, B1, B2, B3. Okay. This K map is depending on the gray code. So, that is the uh, one unit distance code. So that's what 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 1. After that, 1, 1, 1, 0. So similarly here also 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So here uh, we are having the only for this D4, only the MSV bits are the 0 from the uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So, these all are the min terms are presenting in the D4. So, now, now we want to form the groups. First, observe this one. So, this is the four variable K map. So, first observing this one. So, any eight ones are there. Uh, eight, is there any eight ones are there in this uh, Four variable came up for forming the group. So, no eight ones are there. Only here we are having the four ones are there. So, now let us take the two groups of this one. So, here the one one is there. Here the one one is there. Now, let us uh, form the one group, one group in this uh, four ones. Again, we are having the two ones are there. Either we can uh, uh, group this uh, only the two ones. But we want to reduce the literals. So, that's what here we are combining this. Already this ones are uh, form the one group even though. So, it will be form the another group. Okay. Now, the two groups are there. So, each and every group we want to write the expressions. So, for this first group, I uh, will want the equation of this one. Now, observing this first group is this four ones. Now, observing this, is there any values are common? Any variables are common in the uh, 
um the left hand side that is the vertical side so uh, only the b3 is the common here here uh, in this row and this row okay so now the b3 is the common for the first two um, for the first group so coming to this one in the horizontal side so uh, okay in this one so the common variable is the uh, b1 so here the one is there here the one is there so b1 so b3 and b1 so similarly in this second group so only this will be are representing in this uh, third row so that is the 1 1 so here the 1 1 is the b3 and b2 so if no complements are there so now the d4 equation is b3 b2 plus b3 b1 so similarly for this d3 expression only 8 9 are presenting so only two ones are there so whatever the min terms are presenting in that four variable came up take that uh, representing the ones remaining bits are the zeros okay now uh, let us take the one group for these two ones okay so now we want to write the simplifying the equation boolean expression uh, for these two ones so here the b3 is there b2 bar is there for this square box we are having the b3 b2 so for this square box also we are having the b3 b2 bar is there so now for these two words the common variables are the b3 and b2 bar so coming to this side so here the 0 is there here the 0 is there so now ten, let us take this one b1 bar so now the equation is b3 b2 bar b1 bar next one for the d2 uh, summation m 4 5 6 7 14 and 15 for d2 so this is one so 0 1 2 3 4 is there 5 is there 6 is there 7 is there 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so here also in this four variable came up first to uh, is there any possible to form the group for the eight ones so is it possible no so now we are going to the uh, four ones so here the four ones are there here the four ones are there so for this four ones the common variable is the b2 common variable is the b2 so for this one the common variable is the b1 so b2 and b1 so for this ones so here we are having the only common variable is the 0 1 only so that is the b3 bar into b2 so now the d2 is the b3 bar b2 plus b2 b1 next d1 so here the 2 3 6 7 12 13 2 3 6 7 12 13 so here a, these four are uh, forming the one group and these two ones are formed the one group so so only two groups are there for this group so common variable is the b3 bar for this one common variable is the b2 plus for these two ones the common one is the b3 b2 this one is the b1 bar b3 b2 b1 bar plus b3 bar b2 okay so next one is the d naught 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 and 15 so 1 3 4 5 7 8 sorry 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so in this uh, four variable came up so here the possible uh, form the one group for the all the eight ones this ones are are the adjacent of these numbers okay now we can form the one group of this one so that is the um, d naught equal to b naught so how this will is the b naught so in this side no common uh, values are there only here we are having the common value with the this one only so that is the b naught so d naught equal to now based on this one we are we draw the large circuit diagram okay so this is the binary code so each and every one uh, every two value either here also we are having the complemented value so b3 b2 b1 and b0 okay so now write the expression for this one for the g4 g4 what is the equation b3 b2 plus b3 b1 
B3, B2. For this D4, B3 is there, B, B2 is there. B3 into B2 and B3 into B1. So, B3, B2 plus Now B3, B2 plus B3, B1. Similarly for this uh, D3 also uh, B3, B2 bar B1. So now this D3 equal to B3, B2 bar B1. For this D2, uh, B3 bar B2, B2 and the B1. So B3. B3 bar B2 plus B2 B1. So this is the D1. So D2. Next to D1 is uh, B3 B1, B3 B2 and B1. So this is the D1. B0 is as it is B0 value. This is the common value. This is the binary to BCD code converter. Next one is BCD to XS3 code converter. So, for this conversion process, uh, say here also 4 bit BCD code is considered as input, so which is converted into 4 bit XS3 code. So, here in this BCD code, we are taking the only 4 bit word, uh, BCD code is uh, as the input. Okay, BCD code. So, here we are having the values only from the 0 to 9. So, here only we are having the 4 inputs, otherwise, it uh, the in, uh, increased in this um, order means values uh, values so now let us take this from the 0 to 9 only so up to the 0 to 9 that bcd values are converted into the xs3 code okay by using the tooth table okay so uh, for this one bcd inputs are there d0 d1 d2 d3 uh, xs3 code is there e0 d1 e2 and e3 okay so what is the xs3 code whatever the values are there plus 3 add plus 3 so that is the xs3 code add plus 3 that is the xs3 code 0 0 0 is there plus 3 so 3 equal and value is 0 0 1 1 so now add this uh, 4 zeros plus 3 is 0 0 1 1 next one 0 0 0 1 plus 3 is um, 0 0 0 1 0 0 so 0 0 0 1 Add the access 3 code 1 plus 1 1 0 1 plus 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 So now uh, uh, convert this uh, BCD to the access 3 code we are getting 0 1 0 0 Next one is 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 Now we want to get the access 3 code so how can we add this one? 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, plus 1, 1, 1, plus 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Now the value is 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. So next one for this 3, 0, double 1, 0, 4, uh, 0, 1, 1, 1. For this 5, 5 plus 3, 8, 6 plus 3, 9, 7 plus 3, 10, 8 plus 3, 11, 9 plus 3, 12. So, in this XS3 code values are the presenting the all the values, not only the 0 to 9 and that one. So, here the, up to the 9 is possible. That's what here we are taking the 0 to 9. The equivalent value is the 1100. One, Based on this, we want to simplify the expression for this one. Uh, so, for this E0, for this E0, so, for this E3, summation M equal to uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Next one is E2. E2 summation M. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and the 9. E1. Zero, three, four, seven, eight. Next, E naught summation M zero, three, five, seven, zero, two. For this E naught zero two, one two. 
टू थ्री इज नॉट देर फोर फाइव इज नॉट देर सिक्स सेवन इज नॉट देर एट नाइन इज नॉट देर सो जीरो टू फोर सिक्स एट Okay, these all are the E three, E two, E one, E naught. For this E three, five, six, seven, eight, nine is there. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Okay, eight, nine. So, uh, in this truth table, only we are having the values from the zero to nine only. In the B C D, the values are representing in the form of B C D only. Remain ten to fifty is not there in this truth table. So at that time we are taking the don't care condition of this ten to fifteen values. So based on that one, so here we are having the values from the five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. Okay, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen are the don't care conditions. Now, uh, now let us form the one group of these eight ones and uh, these eight ones. Okay. Now, what is the equation of this one? So, d three, d three, plus plus. Okay, d three plus for this ones, uh, d two, d two, d naught plus plus d two and the d one. Okay. So, similarly in this uh, e two equation. So here the one two three four nine one two three four five six seven eight nine. Okay. So these two ones and these two ones form the one group, and these two ones and these two ones form are formed in the one other group. So here the only one is there. So now let us take this don't care condition also. This is the one pair. So for this uh, one, for this one. So what is the equation ma? Uh, so d two bar, d two bar, and d naught. Next for these two ones, d naught bar, for this one over, next one is d two bar, d two bar. D two bar and D one plus D three bar. For these two ones, for these two ones, uh, D two is common. For this one, D one bar, D one. Next to E one. So here the three, four, seven, eight is there. Three zero one two three four. Five, six, seven, eight. For this summation, m. E three output even. Sorry, even is there is zero three four seven nine. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So this is the even output. So here also we are for form the two groups. So for this one D one D naught, for this one D one bar D naught. Next E naught output is zero two four six eight zero one two three four five six seven. Okay. So six is there. Next one is eight. Eight is there. So remaining corners we are taking the don't care condition. This is the one group and this one is the one group. So for this one group, put D one bar and D naught bar. For this Y O is there. Uh, this is the D one and D naught bar. So normally we are taking the R four ones is the one group and four ones is the one group. So here we are having the equations like this. But these four ones and this four one four ones are the adjacent number of the ones. We can form the one group. So these eight are the one group. The common variable is the d naught bar. So based on this, so here we are taking the d naught d one d two d three and write the each and every logic eight. So for this uh, for this uh, d three. Is the D three complement D one D one complement D naught D naught complement 
So this is the BCD2 excess report. So based on the bilinear expressions, so here we are draw the circuit diagram. Next one is BCD2 gray code converter. So what is the how to convert the BCD2 gray code converter? So uh, if you are taking the so here the BCD code is the uh, in terms of the D3, D2 and D1 and D0. So here the MSMT is there. As is we are writing the B3. B3, D3 is equal to the B3. Next one is D2 is for D3 and D2 is apply the um, XR gate. So now we are getting the B2. Next to B1. D1, XR, D0 is the B0, B0, B1, B2, B3. So for based on this one, we, here we are converting the binary values to the gray code values. So this gray code is not depending on the position of the weights. Now write the equation for the G0, 5, 6, 9, 1, 2, 5, 6, 9. Next G1 is summation M. So here the 0 and 1 is the zeros next to 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. Next one is G2. What is G2? 4, 5, 6, 7. For this G3, summation M, 8, comma, 9. Okay, for the G3, your output is the D3. For G3 equal to D3, so all the 8 ones are forming in the this one group. So here we are getting the G3 equal to D3. Next one is the G2. So this 8 ones are from the one group. So that is the D2 plus D3. Why? Because so here the D3 is common. G2 equal to G2 equal to four, five, six, seven. Okay, four, five, six, seven. So four, five, six, seven. Remaining bits are the remaining bits are the twenty care conditions. So this four is the one group and this four is the one group. So for this four, D3 bar D2, D3 bar D2. Okay. So again, these four ones are having the D3, D2 bar plus D3, D2 bar. So D3 bar D2. So here the D3 bar D2 is there. Okay. So for this one D3 bar D2, for this one D3, D2 bar. Next one for this is G1. So these four ones are from the one group. This two and this two is from the one group. This two and this two is the group for this D2 bar and D4. D2 bar and the D4. Next one, these four ones is the D2. This four ones is the D2. This, this four D2, D2 and the D1 bar. Next for this uh, two ones, D3 bar D2. D2 bar D2 bar D1 D2 bar D1. This four ones D2 D1 bar. Next one G0. For this G0, D1 bar D0 plus D1 D0 bar. So based on this, so here we are writing the draw the uh, circuit diagram. Next one is binary to gray to excess three code. So uh, normally for this conversion, this is the original binary values. This binary value is converted to the gray code. Next to this values are converted into the excess three code output. Okay. So for this one. 0, 0, 0 is there, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 is there, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so based on this one, so here we are finding the E3, E2, E1 and E0. So for this E3, 
uh, already depending on this midterm equations this four is one group this four and one this four one okay so for this one so here we are writing the expression is g3 g2 bar g3 g2 bar next sorry for this eight ones uh, g3 is there next for this four ones g2 g2 plus uh, g1 bar so similarly g2 plus g0 for e2 output this is the expression mm, this is the min terms for this one this two ones is the one group and this four are the one group either we are taking this uh, four ones also okay for this two four ones uh, g1 bar g0 g1 bar g0 for this two ones g3 g3 plus uh, g2 for this two ones g3 bar g2 bar plus g0 for this four ones uh, so here the g3 is there g0 is there g3 g0 next one four ones we are having the g2 g1 bar this is for the conversion of this one next e1 is there so total four ones are there, four ones are there, eight ones. So that is the G naught bar. Next E naught is there. So no common uh, groups are there. So individual ones are there. So now we are taking this C one X naught of uh, G naught. So why? Because in the X naught truth table, so here the same values is there. That is the equivalent. So different values is there uh, zero. So for this zero. Uh, so this is the x naught truth table. So whenever the values are equal, at that time we are taking the 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, now the equal values are there. Now take the g1 x naught g naught, g3 x naught g2 like this. So this is the expression for the e naught. So based on this expressions here we are draw the one circuit diagram. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.